Ancient Peru is a fascinating subject, with a rich history that spans several thousand years. The earliest known civilization in Peru is the Carol Soup civilization, which flourished between 2600 BCE and 2000 BCE. This civilization built impressive structures, including pyramids and plazas, and developed a complex society with a sophisticated system of trade and agriculture. After the decline of the Carol Soup civilization, other civilizations emerged in Peru, including the Chavin culture, which thrived between 900 BCE and 200 BCE. The Chavin people were known for their distinctive art style, which featured motifs such as snakes and jaguars. They also built impressive stone structures, including the Chavin de Huantar temple complex, which served as a religious center. In the centuries that followed, several other cultures emerged in Peru, including the Mochi, Nazca, and Wari cultures. The Mochi culture, which flourished between 100 CE and 800 CE, was known for its intricate pottery and metalwork. The Nazca culture, which developed between 200 BCE and 700 CE, is famous for its Nazca lines, a series of enormous geoglyphs etched into the desert floor. Modern historiography of Peru divides its history into three main periods. A pre-Hispanic period, which lasts from the first civilizations of the region to the Spanish conquest of the Inca Empire. A viceregal or colonial period, which lasts from the aforementioned conquest to the Peruvian Declaration of Independence. A republican period, which lasts from the War of Independence to the current day. The pre-Hispanic era in Peru refers to the period of history before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors in the early 16th century. During this time, Peru was home to several advanced civilizations, each with their own unique cultures, traditions, and ways of life. One of the earliest known civilizations in Peru was the Norte Chico civilization, which flourished around 3200 BCE and is considered one of the first civilizations in the Americas. The Norte Chico civilization was a complex society that emerged in the coastal region of northern Peru around 3200 BCE. It is considered to be one of the earliest known civilizations in the Americas. The Norte Chico civilization was characterized by the development of large, complex cities, including the ancient city of Carol. Carol is believed to have been one of the largest cities in the world at the time, with a population of up to 3,000 people. The city featured impressive architecture, including monumental stone structures such as pyramids and plazas. The people of the Norte Chico civilization were skilled farmers and developed advanced irrigation techniques to grow crops in the arid coastal region. They also engaged in trade, exchanging goods such as cotton and seafood with neighboring cultures. Despite the Norte Chico civilization's impressive achievements, little is known about their cultural traditions and beliefs. Unlike other civilizations in Peru, such as the Inca, the Norte Chico people did not leave behind a system of writing, making it difficult for scholars to understand their society and way of life. The decline of the Norte Chico civilization is believed to have been caused by a combination of environmental factors, including drought and over-farming of the land. The civilization ultimately collapsed around 1800 BCE, paving the way for the emergence of other cultures and civilizations in Peru. However, the legacy of the Norte Chico civilization lives on, and its impressive achievements continue to fascinate archaeologists and historians today. Another important civilization during the pre-Hispanic era was the Mochi culture, which emerged around 100 CE in the northern coastal region of Peru. The Mochi people were skilled artisans and craftsmen, known for their elaborate metalwork, pottery, and textiles. The Mochi culture was a civilization that flourished in the northern coastal region of Peru from around 100 CE to 700 CE. The Mochi people were skilled artisans and craftsmen, known for their elaborate metalwork, pottery, and textiles. The Mochi civilization is particularly renowned for its impressive ceramics, which are considered to be some of the finest examples of pre-Columbian art. Mochi pottery features intricate designs and scenes depicting everyday life, as well as mythological and religious themes. The Mochi also produced exquisite metalwork, including gold and silver jewelry, and were skilled weavers, producing fine textiles from cotton and alpaca wool. The Mochi people lived in complex societies with hierarchical social structures. They built large, multi-story adobe structures that served as both homes and administrative centers. The Mochi were also skilled engineers and built impressive irrigation systems to support their agriculture-based economy. Religion played an important role in Mochi society, and the civilization is known for its elaborate ritual practices. The Mochi practiced human sacrifice, and many of their artworks depict scenes of sacrificial ceremonies. The Mochi civilization declined in the 8th century CE, 
possibly due to a combination of environmental factors, including severe flooding and drought. However, the Mochi legacy lived on, and their influence can be seen in later civilizations in Peru, such as the Chimu and Inca. Today, archaeological sites such as the Huaca del Sol and Huaca de la Luna provide a glimpse into the fascinating and sophisticated world of the Mochi culture. The Nazca culture was a civilization that flourished in the southern coastal region of Peru between 200 BCE and 700 CE. The Nazca people are most famous for their Nazca Lines, a series of enormous geoglyphs. The Nazca Lines are made up of hundreds of intricate designs, including geometric shapes, animals, and human figures. Some of the lines are several kilometers long and can only be fully appreciated from the air. It is not known for certain why the Nazca people created these lines, but some theories suggest that they may have been used for religious or astronomical purposes. The Nazca people were skilled farmers and developed advanced irrigation techniques to cultivate crops in the arid coastal region. They also produced fine textiles, including intricate weavings and embroideries. The Nazca culture is particularly renowned for its ceramic art, which features intricate designs and vibrant colors. The Nazca people also had a complex social structure, with a ruling class of elites who controlled trade and agriculture. Religion played an important role in Nazca society, and the civilization is known for its elaborate ritual practices. The Nazca practiced cranial deformation, a process in which the skulls of infants were bound to create elongated, cone-shaped skulls. The decline of the Nazca culture is believed to have been caused by a combination of environmental factors, including drought and over-farming of the land. The civilization was ultimately absorbed into the Wari Empire, a powerful civilization that dominated much of Peru in the 7th and 8th centuries CE. Today, the Nazca lines continue to fascinate archaeologists and tourists alike, and the legacy of the Nazca culture lives on in the intricate artwork and textiles produced by modern-day Peruvian artisans. The Wari culture was a civilization that flourished in the central highlands of Peru from around 600 CE to 1100 CE. The Wari people were skilled engineers and builders, and their impressive architectural feats included the construction of large stone fortresses, temples, and roads. The Wari civilization was characterized by a complex political and social organization, with a centralized government and a complex administrative system. The Wari were skilled farmers and developed advanced agricultural techniques, including terraced farming and irrigation systems. The Wari culture is also renowned for its impressive textiles, which featured intricate designs and vibrant colors. The Wari people used a wide variety of materials in their textiles, including cotton, alpaca wool, and feathers. Religion played an important role in Wari society, and the civilization is known for its elaborate ritual practices. The Wari practiced human sacrifice and built large temples to honor their gods. The decline of the Wari civilization is believed to have been caused by a combination of environmental factors, including drought and overuse of resources, as well as internal conflict and invasion by neighboring cultures. Despite their decline, the legacy of the Wari culture continued to influence later civilizations in Peru, such as the Inca. Today, archaeological sites such as the Wari ruins at Huari provide a glimpse into the fascinating and sophisticated world of the Wari culture. Perhaps the most well-known of all the pre-Hispanic civilizations in Peru was the Inca Empire. The Inca Empire was a vast pre-Columbian civilization that existed in the Andean region of South America from the early 13th century until its conquest by the Spanish in the 16th century. The Inca people were skilled engineers, farmers, and administrators, and their empire was characterized by a complex social structure and a highly organized system of government. The Inca Empire was founded by the legendary leader Manco Capac, who united various tribes in the region under his rule. The Inca people developed an extensive network of roads, which allowed them to control and govern their vast territory, stretching from modern-day Ecuador to Chile. The Inca were skilled farmers and developed advanced agricultural techniques, including terrace farming, which allowed them to grow crops in the steep, mountainous terrain of the Andes. The Inca also developed an extensive system of trade, which allowed them to exchange goods and resources with other regions. Religion played an important role in Inca society, and the civilization is known for its elaborate religious practices. The Inca worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, with the god Inti, the sun god, being the most important. The Inca social structure was highly organized, with a ruling class of nobles who controlled the empire and a large labor force of farmers and artisans. The Inca had a complex system of administration, with each region of the empire governed by a local leader who answered to the emperor. The decline of the Inca empire began in the early 16th century, 
when the Spanish arrived in South America. The Inca were initially successful in repelling the Spanish, but ultimately fell to the superior military technology of the Spanish conquistadors. The conquest of the Inca Empire led to the destruction of much of its cultural heritage and the suppression of its traditional religion. Today, the legacy of the Inca Empire lives on in the stunning archaeological sites left behind, such as Machu Picchu, as well as in the vibrant culture of modern-day Peru. Throughout the pre-Hispanic era, the civilizations of Peru developed complex social, political, and economic systems, as well as unique cultural traditions and beliefs. These civilizations were ultimately disrupted by the arrival of the Spanish in the early 16th century, leading to the colonization and transformation of Peru under Spanish rule. The Spanish era in Peru began in 1532, when Francisco Pizarro and his conquistadors arrived in the country and began their conquest of the Inca Empire. The Spanish were initially successful in their military campaigns, aided in part by the spread of smallpox and other diseases to which the native population had no immunity. Over the next few decades, the Spanish consolidated their control over Peru, establishing a colonial government and imposing their culture and religion on the native population. The Spanish introduced Christianity to Peru and built numerous churches and cathedrals throughout the country. The Spanish also brought with them European art, architecture, and music, which had a profound impact on Peruvian culture. Many colonial-era buildings, such as the Cathedral of Lima and the Church of San Francisco, still stand as testament to the enduring legacy of Spanish architecture in Peru. The Spanish also introduced a new economic system in Peru, based on the exploitation of the country's vast mineral wealth. The Spanish established large-scale silver mines in Peru, which produced massive amounts of wealth for the Spanish crown. However, this system of extraction came at a great cost to the native population, who were forced to work under brutal conditions in the mines.